Oh, there you go. <gasps> Colt. Oh my God, Colt, your breath. Are you in ketosis? All right, everyone. This video is on keto breath. And it's important that you understand what's really happening in the world of ketosis and what gives you keto breath in the first place. Because it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's easy to get rid of if you pay attention to this video. All right, so to understand keto breath, we have to understand ketosis really quick. So I'm gonna break it down in like 15 seconds, just bear with me. All right, so ketosis is when you are in the absence of carbohydrates. You have no glucose, no carbohydrates. Your body is forced to run on these molecules called ketones. These ketones provide energy from fat. Now let's get down to how this actually pertains when it comes to keto breath. So you have three main ketone bodies that your body's utilizing, okay? You have beta-hydroxybutyrate, you have acetoacetate, and you have acetone. Yeah, like nail polish remover, acetone. But acetone isn't bad, okay? It's created in the body. It's only bad and it's in crazy high amounts. So don't go thinking that ketosis is bad just because acetone is a product. Acetone is a byproduct of animal fat metabolism in general. So any animal that's consuming any fat is going to have a level of acetone in their body at some point or another, period. It doesn't matter. Now these ketones, including acetone, are removed via two ways. They're removed through the breath or they're removed through the urine. But let's break down acetone a little bit more so you have a solid understanding of what's happening here. So acetone, in short, is what is giving your breath that fruity smell in ketosis. Again, the byproduct of fat metabolism. Now, acetone, again, whenever we have any kind of fat metabolism, it occurs. And we absorb it through the lungs, we absorb it through the stomach, and sometimes in small amounts we can absorb it through the skin. So yeah, side note, if you're using a lot of nail polish remover and you're getting it on your skin, you can absorb it through your skin. But again, it's really not dangerous unless it's in crazy high amounts. So then what happens is this acetone flows through the bloodstream, it goes to the liver, and the liver breaks it down to a series of chemical compounds, ultimately creating glucose in one way or another. So basically, that's how ketosis kind of works. Your body's generating energy in one way or another from this acetone. Not always via a glucose pathway, but generally speaking, when you have carbohydrates in the mix, that's how that ends up happening. So in short, keto breath is just the presence of these ketone bodies. So it's not really a bad thing when you think about it. So if you have ketones because you're in ketosis, you have them floating around in your bloodstream and the acetone is gonna come out through your breath. That's plain and simple. But I wanna give you three solutions for it, okay? Three easy ways to combat the keto breath and then I'm gonna break them down a little bit more so you have a solid understanding of why they work and what's really happening. Okay? The first one is to drink a lot more water. And again, it sounds vague, but I wanna explain why because there's a serious method to it. It's not just about flushing it out. Remember how I told you that acetone is gonna be excreted through the breath or through the urine? Well, here's the thing. If you consume enough water, it's going to opt to be excreted through the urine. Therefore, you're not gonna have as much in the way of keto breath. So super, super simple. Nothing to it other than to hydrate up a little bit more. You're naturally dehydrated when you're in ketosis anyway because you're not retaining water in many ways. So you're naturally gonna have bad breath from two reasons. One, because the ketones are gonna be escaping through your breath, but also halitosis is gonna come in just because your mouth is dry. So hydrate up, flush them out through the urine, okay? The next one is going to be a simple one. Peppermint oil. Just swish around a little bit of peppermint oil in your mouth. It works way better than chlorhexidine mouthwash and it'll at least combat the superficial issue of having the ketosis breath. But remember, it's not gonna solve the problem because we're not dealing with a bad breath issue. We're dealing with a chemical reaction in the body of acetone being a byproduct of fat metabolism. The next one is patience, okay? And I've got a bonus one for you after this, but patience is critical. Here's what's happening and why you have keto breath. You have keto breath because you're not fully fat adapted yet. If you've ever used a keto strip, okay, where you urinate on a keto strip to see what level of ketosis you're in, well, that's measuring your excess levels of ketones. Excess, okay, you don't need excess. If you have excess levels of ketones, they're gonna try to escape. They're not just gonna sit in your body because if they're sitting in your body, you'd go into ketoacidosis and end up really in the hospital and feeling sick. So your body's excreting them. It's doing what it's supposed to do. But you wanna get yourself to a point where you're keto adapted and your body is utilizing every component of ketone bodies that it can so you don't have this byproduct of breath and excess ketones in your urine. Newsflash, if you've been in ketosis a while and you've tested on a urine strip, you've probably found 
that the ketone strips don't really register your ketone levels anymore after a while. Why? Because you're keto adapted. So we do wanna make sure that you're giving it some time. That breath will go away. But that leads me to my next solution that kind of encompasses all of it. Utilize your fats better, okay? Ketones are a byproduct of fat metabolism. If you have too much fat coming in, you will have excess ketones. So therefore, you may need to decrease your fat a little bit until you're keto adapted if you're really battling with the bad breath issue. And this is the simplest way, okay? So you back off the fats a little bit, but the other thing you can do is increase your low intensity cardio just a tiny bit. You see, low intensity cardio utilizes beta oxidation. Beta oxidation is where you're using fat as a source of fuel, like with low intensity cardio. Therefore, you're gonna burn up a few more of those ketone bodies. So in short, don't freak out about it. It's not a bad thing. It actually means your body's working and it means that ketosis is kicking in. So don't be stared away by the fact that you have a fruity nail polish remover smell coming out of your mouth. Just eat a little less fats, do a little more cardio, gargle with some peppermint oil and hydrate the heck up. I hope that this debunks the common myth that keto breath is bad and means that ketosis isn't working because I'm tired of hearing that. It's quite the opposite. It means ketosis is working. You just need to fine tune it a wee bit. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you comment what videos you wanna see, especially in the world of ketosis, fasting, and anything to that sort so that we can capitalize on feeling our best and optimizing our brains, our bodies, and always our business too. I'll see you in the next video.